first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a slide from nothing. So we're going to create a blank presentation and just say create. And it's white. This very basic plain Jane black and white PowerPoint with nothing applied to it. Now we're going to be working entirely within the slide master. And the slide master is going to allow us to do this and have our global settings. So we're going to go view slide master. And by default, it's going to grab the tights, the title slide, which is not what we want. And let me just show you what happens. If I make changes to this slide, it will only apply to this slide. So let's just do that. Let's go insert and let's just go a shape right at the moment. Something really simple. And you notice that blue box is only on that slide. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. If I go up to here, this will, any changes I apply to this, will do it globally and add it to all these slides. You see how it added it now to all of those slides. So, but there are ways to turn it off. So I may not want that. In fact, when we get to the title slide, I do not want what's on this slide to appear on this slide. But I'll show you, we'll get to that here in due time. So first thing we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we want to change the background from white to a nice blue gradient. So we're going to right click on it, choose format background. I'm going to choose gradient fill and it's automatically going to choose the last gradient that I had selected. And this is not what I want. So let's go with gradient fill. Let's make sure we have linear selected. If this is the first time in, because you may have something else totally different. So make sure you have linear. And we're going to go ahead with the angle, choose 90. And what I want to do here is these are the stops. And I can have as many stops as I want in here. But actually, all I want is two stops. And I'm just going to bring one stop. I'll leave that stop right there and this stop here. And let's change the colors. So the white, I want to change to kind of a light blue. And nothing really kind of strikes my fancy here. So I'm going to go to more colors. And I'm going to choose this blue right there. And yours should be set up the same way. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this other blue and make this a darker blue. Choose more colors and come up here and choose that color. And that is looking great. Now, it's kind of heavy on the bottom, but we're going to balance it with our header up here with our logo. So let's insert another rectangular tool. Come up here and I'm just going to kind of march it out. I'm going to kind of come down a little bit here so it kind of comes right above the... the uh, you know, the, the T's and the, the shorter fonts here. And we're going to send that back in a second. But we'll get that in a second. I want to go ahead and right click on this. And so I'm going to have to do it twice. Format shape. And we're going to go ahead and choose a gradient fill. And I'm going to actually add a third Dropbox. Now you see it's applying the same colors that I'm using. In fact, we're going to use that. I want this light blue. I want to drag this over here. And bring that there. I want to bring this here and change this to white. Let's change the angle to 50. If we bring this down, we can kind of see what's going on. And now I'm going to bring this back so it kind of gives us the effect. And I'm going to play with it because I want the logo to show up a little bit over here. And I want it something like that. That is looking awesome. Now, we'll go ahead and save, send this back so it's behind the text. So right click, send back, and now it's behind the text. In the text, we're going to drop down here in a second. But wait, there's more. We want to go ahead and get rid of that box, which I did not do. So format, shape again, and choose the, the line and get rid of that line, not the box, but the line. Okay, that's good. Now you see how it kind of blends there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select both the title header and the body and just bring it down a little bit so the text is kind of below it and we'll do some adjustments there in the text in a second now i want to go ahead and insert yet another rectangular box and this one just right here it's going to be kind of a nice little border and i'm going to right click on this and format this as well and i want to make sure this time i turn off the line color before i forget and i'm going to go to fill and change the color here to kind of a gray that's looking good. Now let's bring in our logo. So picture and Medex files and there's our color logo. I'm going to bring that back up to here and see what that looks like. 
That looks good. Let's bring in our watermark. Insert. Pitcher. And this is a little bit smaller, but it's okay to kind of enlarge this one. We're going to bring it back here. And if I want to drop the opacity, I can go back into Photoshop and do that. But that's looking pretty good. And let's go ahead and send this back as well. And again, the whole point of making this a blur is so if I put images in here, they're not fighting with each other. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change the fonts. I'm going to do two things with the fonts. In fact, I'm just going to grab uh, this font here real quick. And let's go to Home. I want to change this to Arial. I want to change this to a kind of a yellow color and make it bold. And I'm going to left justify it. That's just kind of things I like to do. I'm going to drop a drop shadow on it. And here, I'm basically going to do the same thing, Arial. And I'm going to make this white, add a drop shadow. And that looks good. I'm not a footer person, but I'm going to leave these here anyway because they won't show up unless you put text in it. So that's okay. And that's looking good. Now, let's go to our title slide. I want my title slide to be different than my standard slide. Well, first of all, this is not quite showing up because I bolded the, the font, so it's just a little bit larger, and that's easy to fix. And I want to center justify this. That looks good. Now, to turn this off, because you can't delete it up here, to get rid of this watermark and get rid of this, simply all you have to do is go to the Slide Master, go up here and check hide background graphics and they're gone now let's put our finishing touches on this let's go insert and again insert yet another rectangular box and i want to come up here and i want to be kind of like in the top third a little bit and again i may have to you know move things around here which i can do and that looks good let's go ahead and right click that format shape and let's choose a solid color and let's make it white and let's turn off the line color oh that's looking good now I'm gonna come back here and borrow an asset I'm gonna actually I'm gonna borrow both these assets so I'm gonna actually choose this gray line and I'm gonna grab the logo as well so I'm copying them and bring them in so the first thing we do is bring this gray put this here it looks good and I'm gonna go ahead and Control drag to duplicate or you can copy and paste and bring that down. Now let's bring our logo down here and let's resize it. I kind of want my logo to kind of come and you notice here that it's it's kind of behind this bottom line. That's okay. We'll right click it and bring the front. And I want my like his this X you know, like the arm going up and the foot going down to kind of extend beyond the border behind it. And that's looking good. Let's change the subtitle to white. And bring this up. And you know what? I want to actually bring everything. Let's just kind of select everything and bring it down just a little bit. And that's looking good. Now, let's go ahead and grab this bottom line. I want to drag, control drag or command drag to duplicate it. I'm actually going to right click on this and my format shape is out of the picture here, but I'm formatting the shape again and I'm just going to change the color to white. Now, if I want to, I can go ahead and insert a URL down here or other images or like that and just running out of time here, but just go ahead and insert a text box and you could do that. So anytime you add, if you have multiple slides throughout your presentation or slides, title slides, it'll just duplicate this information. So lots of different things you can do, and that's looking pretty good. And let's go ahead and go back to our Slide Master. Let's close this and see what it looks like. That's looking pretty good. Let's add another slide, and there's our inside slide. So again, you may want to project this, and you may want to drop the opacity of this, maybe to 8 or 7%. Uh, it just really depends. But I really do encourage you, if you're going to use like a watermark, make sure you project it to see what it looks like because... What may look fine on your computer may not project the same. So there is slightly a, a difference there, especially between projection and monitors. Well, we're about out of time here. But as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send them our way. And as always, I hope you find unique ways to make your presentations more editable to your audience. Until the next time, take care.